Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Stepping Stone Tutorials. A very big thank you to all my viewers for supporting and subscribing to my channel. I look forward for your cooperation and support in future. Those who have not subscribed yet, kindly do the same by clicking on the bell button so that you get timely notification of my other videos, new videos that will be coming up. Dear students, this is the second video in continuation of my earlier one on chapter electricity class 10 science. Those who have missed out the first video, I have shared the link in the description box. Please do go back and watch it. Okay, in my first video I explained few concepts, charge and potential difference. Now here we will try to solve some numericals on these topics so that your concepts are further cleared. <laughs> So here is problem number one. Calculate the number of electrons constituting one coulomb of charge. Okay, we know that one electron carries a charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Now what we have to uh, find in this problem, we have to find if the charge is one coulomb then how many electrons there will be. We have to find how many electrons. So we will follow unitary method. So we know that when the charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb, then there are 1 electron. I will use the symbol of electron. Okay. So 1 charge will carry how many electron? Follow unitary method. 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 these many electrons the rest is all calculation so I will make it easy for you 1 by show you the calculation 1 by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 will become what huh? it will become plus 19 right next 1.6 we will remove the decimal so it will become 16 it will be 10 right Now what is, if you divide 10 by 16 you will get the value comes approximately 0 0.625 into 10 to the power 19. Now what we will do, we will write in standard form. How do you write in standard form decimals? You uh, put the decimal after one digit. So after 6 we will put the digit. Uh, we will put the decimal. So we will write 6.25. Then 10 to the power 19 kya ban jayega? 10 to the power 19 will become 18 because we have multiplied by 10, right? Isko multiply kar diya 10 se. Then it becomes 6.25. So 10 to the 19 ban gaya, 10 to the 18. So these many electrons. So one charge, when the charge is 1, then number of electrons is 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons okay now we can note it down not from here obviously i'll show you the proper solution so students i hope you understood the problem you can note the steps of the solution of this problem from here okay now we have another problem problem number two how much energy is given to each column of charge passing through a 6 volt battery ok so um, first we will see what are given in this problem so we are given each column of charge means charge is one column so charge charge is represented by Q charge is one column and also we are given 
potential difference how much is the potential difference 6 volts so v means potential difference is 6 v we have to find energy energy is actually equivalent to work done right so we have to find energy or work done this is what we need to find okay so we have uh, learned that potential di difference what is potential difference potential difference is actually work by charge right so v potential difference is equal to w by q now what is v how much is v 6 energy or work we have to find out and q is 1 so 6 into 1 is equal to w so how much is work work done work done is 6 joule what is the unit of work si unit of work done joule so work done or energy is how much 6 joule so students i hope you understood the solution to problem number two you can pause the video and uh, note down the steps of the solution from here okay the next topic is electric current what do you mean by electric current and when does a electric current flow when there is a potential difference between the two ends of a wire then we know that charges flow from one end to the other this flow of charges in the wire constitutes an electric current here are some bullet points regarding electric current please pause the video and note it down current is equal to mathematically equal to charge by time i is equal to q by t please note the si unit of electric current is ampere denoted by capital a how do you measure electric current in a circuit with the help of an instrument called emitter which is always connected in series in the circuit you can see a diagram of emitter here okay so now you know that current flows due to potential difference between two points here in this diagram you can see that the bulb is attached to the two ends of a battery due to the chemical reactions going inside the cell or the battery a potential difference is maintained between its terminals this potential difference causes the electric current to flow through the copper wires and the bulb due to which the bulb lights up students you can see in this diagram it is mentioned conventional current flow so what does this word conventional means in this scenario there are actually two ways of looking at DC current flow but engineers traditionally say it flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal and this flow from positive to negative is called conventional flow of current okay so don't get confused when you get the word conventional current flow in your books or in any uh, reference paper fine now since you know all about electric current we will try to solve a numerical on electric current an electric bulb draws a current of 0 0.25 ampere for 20 minutes calculate the amount of electric charge that flows through the circuit okay now in this problem what are the given terms we have been given the current current i is 0 0.25 ampere charge q we have to find it out and the duration for which the current flows is 20 minutes now 20 minutes we have to convert in si unit so 20 into 60 seconds is 1200 seconds now we know that i is equal to q by t so i is 0 0.25 q is unknown and t is 1200 just put these values and we will f follow um, just need to calculate the value of q then 
the rest is simple calculation So Q is 300, unit is Coulomb. I hope you understood the solution to this problem. You can pause the video and note down the solution to this numerical. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.